Hey peeps, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm sitting outside Goodwill right now. We're about to head in and go thrifting together. But before we head in, I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of a, a backstory, I guess, on today's video. So I originally filmed a come thrifting with me a couple days ago. I had the day off for the 4th of July. So I was super excited to like get it pre-filmed, to like be on top of things, to film a really fun video. And I filmed a video where I took you thrifting with me for the summer 2020 trends. So I filmed that video. I was there for a couple hours. I think it went really well. I just felt like overall it was a good video. So I go home. I don't think much of it. The next day I go to edit the footage, which is Saturday, July 4th. And I realized that all the footage is corrupted and is not working. So needless to say, I did cry for a couple hours. I was just sobbing at my computer desk. I was trying everything I could to recover this footage. I felt like it was such a good video. I had worked so hard on it and I was just devastated. Once I came to terms with the fact that that video just wasn't going to exist, I was like, all right, well, guess I'm not posting anything on Wednesday because you know when you're just like so upset and sad about something you just can't even so I complained about it for about a day or two and as I was sitting there I realized you know what Haley the devil works hard but I work harder. So I'm filming another come thrifting with me. I'm putting my effort back into it. We're not gonna be thrifting for the summer 2020 trends. I don't wanna like recreate something that's already been created. So there will be a haul with all those trends that I found on my channel in a couple weeks. But for now, we're just gonna head into the thrift store and see what we can find. I don't really have a plan, but before we do, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for the support on my vintage Etsy shop, not only to the people who purchased things, but to those of you who watched the video and said that you liked my shop and and congratulated me and just said that everything looked great. I truly appreciate your support. And with that being said, I do have a couple new listings up. So if you weren't able to find anything in the initial launch that was your style or size, head over to my Etsy shop. See if there's anything new that you like. You can shop it there. I ship very fast. So yeah, check out the Etsy shop for some updates. But other than that, let's just head into Goodwill. I have such a good feeling. I feel like there's going to be so many good pieces. So let's see what we can find. All right, starting in the pajama section to see if we can find any fun house dresses or just like cool like 90s pajama t-shirts look at these pajama pants how freaking iconic i don't need any more pajama pants but like i do need nintendo wii ones so this is kind of cool i think i'm gonna get them like what the heck that's so random but i love it okay sadly no house dresses today i usually keep them pretty cleaned out but let's look at the real dresses now they have had a lot of cute vintage sets here lately so i'm hopeful to find more and they also have like a lot of cute dresses here just in general usually so let's see if we can find anything good in this dress section okay how funny is this it's like a vintage suit but it's made of like sweatpant material so it's almost like a juicy couture track suit except for it's like businessy like what <laughs> if anyone knows like what the purpose of this was was it just to be like warm but also like dressed up for the office at the same time i don't know that's funny just doesn't seem very practical, you know? Okay, wow, this is like a shirt for a kid and it's definitely like not cute. But look at how fun the fabric is. It's like this fun rainbowy, like glittery. That's so cool. But it really does look like it would fit like an adult. It's an extra large from Cat and Jack, which I'm pretty sure that's a kid's brand, but if it didn't have these weird pom-poms on the side, like I would genuinely consider buying it because it's such that fun, like a rainbow aesthetic. Okay, I know it's like 90 degrees in the beginning of summer. I was gonna say middle. <laughs> um, but I do still like to check the long sleeve blouse section, even though it is summer, for two reasons. One, you can find lightweight blouses, kind of like the one I'm wearing today. And then two, even if it's not super lightweight, like this is the section that's not really being looked at right now. This is what everyone's donating right now. So this is when you can find the best deals. Like when things are out of season, that's the time to look for it, which I didn't do this year. I should have looked for summer a couple months ago but the best deals for fall slash like lightweight long sleeve shirts are gonna be right now because they're so overstocked. There's so many. Okay, this, this one might be a little bit too hot for summer, but I just found this chocolate silk vintage blouse. Meghan Markle actually wore a brown silk skirt. I'll pop a picture of it here. And ever since then, I've been loving like chocolate colored silk because it's just so like shiny and rich. Okay, wow, this is pretty. It's vintage Ralph Lauren and it's like kind of like sunsetty rainbow. But I don't know. I don't see myself ever wearing this. It's super pretty though, so I thought I'd show it to you. But I think I'm gonna leave this one here. I'm trying to be a lot more mindful about what I buy just because I do have so many clothes. And so I don't want to buy things just because I like them. Like I really try to think, is this something I already have? Would I even wear this? So this one is gonna stay here, but it's still really pretty. 
fun little zebra print skirt. If it was a little bit lighter, I would love it. I just don't love the black and the gray, but still pretty cute. Just not my fave. Okay, so we're just not really finding anything cute here today, but I think I'm gonna head over to the Savers next door because this just isn't going as cute as I had hoped. So let's head out of here and see if we can find some good thrift at Savers. Okay, so I got a couple things from Goodwill. Wasn't a whole lot. I think it's just because I've been there so much recently that there's just like nothing new, but we're gonna head over to Savers. It's literally like a 30 second drive from here, not even joking, but I wanted to tell you about something super cute that happened to me in the store. So I was standing in line and this cute, I don't want to say little girl, she was probably like 11 or 12 came up to me and while I was like waiting in line and she was like, excuse me, are you a YouTuber? And like, I didn't know, I don't think she like already watches my channel. I think she was just wondering because I'm a freak and I film myself while I'm shopping and I was like, yeah. And she was just super cute and she's like, oh cool, like what's your channel name? And I told her my channel name. So if that girl is watching, I don't think you were like already a viewer, but you're so freaking cute and sweet. To that like younger girl, I'm not sorry, I don't know what your age is. If you're watching my channel um, right now, hello, thank you for coming up and saying hi you're so freaking cute she had the cutest like little like american kind of like fourth of july outfit her jeans were so cute so hi to that girl if you're watching if not this is awkward yeah. dude if i was 16 again i'd be wearing these like where are my beatles fans at y'all british boys <laughs> Okay, I just found this really cute jumpsuit. It's made of like a nicer material, which I like because I feel like a lot of the jumpsuits you can find um, at the thrift store are made of like like cheap cotton or um, just like bad fast fashion brands. So this one's really pretty. It kind of looks like one you would even wear to a wedding, but it's a wrapper, which is amazing. Those are the best. Like, I guess jumpsuit if it's long. Yeah, probably a jumpsuit if it's like longer legged. And also I'm super annoyed because they're playing a Beach Boys song, but they're playing California Girls, but it's like a weird cover. Like, just play the real song. Like, don't disrespect them like this. This cover is trash. So I just found this pair of like kind of cotton, like they're biker shorts, but longer. They're almost like Capri leggings, which is definitely not something I would normally gravitate gravitate toward but I've really been wanting to find a pair of biker shorts lately that is modest like long enough for me to wear and I actually have something that would I think go pretty cute with this and it's just a fun like tie-dye print it's from Walmart I think it's from No Boundaries so like an older Walmart style and they're just cotton but I think they could be cute and they're only $2.99 so it's worth a try so I just found this super cute American Eagle tank top in the tank stock section I've been seeing like a lot of cool vintage accounts wearing halter tops like this from like the 60s or 70s or like making some out of really cool like 60s and 70s fabric and it's made me really want to have one because I think this would look so cute over like a graphic tee like imagine like a graphic just right here I think that'd be really cute so I'm in a bit of a pickle. I just found this vintage Juicy Couture track jacket in my size. <sighs> like, here's the thing. Am I going to wear it a ton? Okay, obviously not right now because it's 90 degrees. Will I wear it in the fall? I don't know. If the full track suit was here, I definitely would. But, like, do I still need to get it for, like, the Elle Woods of it all, you know? <sighs> okay, I think we've seen everything that there is to see here. So I'm going to head out and I will see you guys at home. Okay, so I'm back home now. I'm gonna show you everything that I thrifted. Some of the pieces you saw, some of the pieces you didn't, per usual. And today, honestly, wasn't the best thrifting day. But really, when it comes to shopping in general, I feel like it's more about quality than quantity. And I know that's kind of hypocritical coming from me because I do thrift all the time. But it's better to find things that you like versus just buy a bunch of things that you might not wear that you'll eventually donate again anyway. But with that being said, I did find some really good pieces. So let me show you those real quick. So first, like I showed you in Savers, I did find this yellow floral jumpsuit. It's super cute. It's from a brand called London Times. I've never heard of it, but the quality feels pretty good. And I think it's really pretty. The quality of it and the print kind of make me think that this is for like a more formal event, like a wedding or a graduation or something. I'll wear it a little bit more casually, but it's super nice. It was a little bit more expensive. They usually do price their rompers a little bit higher. So this was $13.99, but I think it was worth it because I love rompers. I think it's so pretty. And especially like if I ever have a formal event I will wear this I probably won't ever have a formal event but I still think this is really cute next like I showed you I did pick up this American Eagle kind of like 
v-neck halter top like i said it just reminds me of so many cute things that vintage or vintage like sellers are selling these days of course this isn't vintage it's just from american eagle but it's still really pretty it does kind of have a vintage style print with this like little kind of like cute little black and white daisies and it's stretchy in the back so I just think it's really fun like I said I'm gonna wear this with a graphic tee I think that would look really cool and even in the fall and winter like how cool would this be layered over like a turtleneck that would be awesome so yeah this one I felt like it was a good find this one I grabbed at Savers and it was $6.49 okay and then of course I had to get the Nintendo Wii pajama pants I really try not to thrift pajamas, but I get sucked into certain like pajama items when I'm looking for house dresses and these weren't any exception. They were only $3, so it wasn't that bad of a deal, but like, come on, like the Wii was so iconic. I loved the Wii, that was like my favorite console. And like, it's such a meme these days, you know the meme music, like I'll play some right now. Like, it's just, it's a classic. So had to get these super cute Nintendo Wii pajama pants. Okay, here's an item that I got from Goodwill that I didn't show you. It was $4 and it is this Wild Fox V-neck. So I originally got it because I was thinking of reselling it on Poshmark because I know Wild Fox is kind of like a more expensive, well sought after brand. But I don't know, I, I really think I'm gonna keep it because I love the print. I'm super into this kind of like daisy, kawaii kind of like just cutesy print. So I think I'm gonna keep it. The only thing I hate is that it's a freaking v-neck uh, i just i think some people can pull them off but for me i just feel like <sighs> so four dollars i think it was worth it okay and then of course i had to get this chocolate vintage blouse from savers totally gives me the Meghan markle style i'm so into browns lately especially this is just like a very rich chocolatey color this isn't gonna be something i'll probably wear soon not only because it's long sleeved, but because it just kind of doesn't really go in the summertime in my opinion. So I'll probably be wearing this in fall, but this with like a pencil skirt would look so classy. Okay guys, and I did break, you know I had to get this vintage Juicy Couture sweatshirt. I just, <sighs> will I wear it a lot? I don't know, I hope so, but I it just, screamed like legally blonde Elle Woods to me and of course it has like the ties to like the 90s and Paris Hilton and all the other celebrities that wore them. It was $12.99 so so whoever priced it really wanted to get that coin <laughs> but I just think it's fun. It's pretty much in mint condition. It's like that just gorgeous very like valley girl hot pink and it's the kind of just traditional terry cloth so who knows maybe someday i will be able to find the matching bottoms but yeah i thought it was super cute it was overpriced but how are you gonna say no to a vintage mint condition 90s pink hot pink juicy couture tracksuit it's such like a moment in time so i had to get this one Okay, and then last but definitely not least, I did end up picking up this like little pair of long biker shorts. They go to like your knee, so I don't know what that's called. Are those still biker shorts? Are they just leggings? Probably. But I just thought they were super cute. They were only $2.99, and these are probably my favorite thing that I got, just because I can imagine wearing these with so many like long oversized t-shirts. Cool days, ooh, especially like wearing these to the Goodwill outlet would be great because it gets so hot in there. So I don't know, I think this could be a really cute vibe but only with an oversized t-shirt because I do not like wearing leggings with like something tight on top. So yeah, I think this was my favorite find. Super cute and they were only $2.99. All right guys, that's pretty much it for what I got. But let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was shorter and I'm sorry it wasn't like as successful as normal, but that's just kind of the reality of thrifting. So I just thought, what the heck, I'm gonna post it anyway. As always, let me know in the comments what your favorite piece was that I thrifted. If you wanna see how I style up any of these thrifted finds, go follow me over on Instagram. I'll leave a link to my Instagram below. And remember, my Etsy shop and Poshmark are now kinda of like up and running. I don't have a ton of things listed, but I did list a couple new things in my Etsy shop and then a couple new things in my Poshmark. Those will both be in my description box. But other than that, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye.